improvements are underway right now to make operations run smoothly at the jail. One of the biggest, not depending on paper as much. Just two years ago, Fox 25 investigates found out an inmate was lost inside the jail for nearly eight months. At the time, officials said the inmates paperwork was lost. And now the jail has gone from all paper to a brand new digital database using a system called Jail Tracker to improve communication across the board. And it's only been in use for four months, but the changes are significant. Everything that happened was paper. From the 1990s to March 2021, important inmate documents at the Oklahoma County Jail were literally piling up. Without a system to send information electronically, files were instead being hand delivered from the jail to the courthouse around the county and back. When you deal with someone bringing a piece of paper two blocks or us taking a paper somewhere, you risk the chance of losing that piece of paper. Oklahoma County Court Clerk Rick Warren talked to Fox 25 about the jail's paper system two years ago after inmate Charles Lemons was lost inside the jail system from July 2018 to March 2019. If they're listening to me, hello everybody, I haven't been to court. A paper in hand should not be the way it's done. Back then, Warren said the jail needs a system that communicates between agencies and municipalities digitally. And it wasn't until this March that the jail stopped the paper trail. Now the jail is using a new database called Jail Tracker, which can keep track of each inmate inside the jail from the moment they're booked until they're released. It also houses arrest charges, gang information, and incident reports. It's a huge database that gives us access to all of the data to be able to do data and analytics on at the end of the day and be truly paperless. Before the jail trust took over in July 2020, the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office purchased the system for $250,000. Jail PIO Mark Opgrand says in addition to that cost, the jail must pay $12,274 a month in order to use it and have it maintained. He says that money comes out of the jail's budget. Kevin Marble is the jail's IT director who took charge of putting the system together in the hopes that an inmate like Lemon doesn't get lost in the system again. So the incident where the inmate got released uh, and shouldn't have, we're going to be able to do things in this system to be able to stop that from happening. But back in April this year, a month after the system went live, jail officials say inmate Raimundo Cuevas was accidentally released from the jail due to a quote, human error. But Marble says the timing doesn't add up, leaving him to believe that while the new system was up and running, the IT department was still in the process of transferring inmate information to it. Moving forward now. It'll automatically put a hold and you won't be able to release them until that hold is physically taken off, for example. It's a new chapter for the jail entering the 21st century, but don't close the book on paper just yet. So no more paper. It, it'll be a while before we get there, right? But, and, and I'm not gonna ever say there's not gonna be paper because there's always legal and, and reasons to have some paper. But yes, over time, we're gonna be very paperless, let's say, you know, probably 80% paperless. There should not be hardly any. I talked to Warren last week who said so far the system seems to be working better than the last and is hopeful communication will only continue to improve.